doing? Back in the day, I made a lot of money selling protection. That's when someone pays you not to hurt them. It's like buying insurance, except you don't get nothing in return. Oh, wait. It's exactly like buying insurance. There was this one guy, Don Gambini's wife's cousin. The Don said we were allowed to collect protection off him, but we had to do it nice. I couldn't break his face, so I had to be creative. But I was a wise guy. What the hell did I know about creativism? Give me, give me, give me, give me money! I learned how to play this stupid thing for nothing? I got blisters on my fingers! It's me stomping on your head because you didn't pay protection. You don't see it? I thought it was a duck riding a pony. Or maybe a giant wang. <laughs> he was laughing at me like I was some kind of clown. So I figured I'd show him who the clown was. It was me. <laughs> that tickles. Stop it. Screw being nice. Let's go with plan B. Being creative is fine, but sometimes you just gotta kick some ass. Well, one thing ain't changed since Brooklyn. You're still a fucking clown. Gina, don't swear when you insult your father. Forget about it, kid. Fuck you. Don't tell me to fucking forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Good morning, big boss man. What are you doing, Cook? Just wanted to say I love you and that you're the best husband in the world. That's real nice, but this ain't exactly a good time. Cook, if you want something, you don't gotta butter me up. How much do you need? Forty. You French me while I was dropping a deuce to get 40 lousy bucks? No, 40 votes. I'm running for VP of the PTA on a healthy snacks platform. I need you to help me win. By being nice or with a bat? Can you be nice with a bat? I don't want to make a bad impression. McCall, why is Petey in handcuffs? Your son was protesting at the site of the new oil pipeline. Oh, Petey broke his cherry. Good for you, kid. Even if it was a candy-ass crime. I didn't arrest him. I simply gave him a ride home. If there's one thing Mother Canada respects, it's an orderly protest. Granted, we don't listen to them, but we damn well respect them. I asked McCool to cuff me so the other protesters would think I was cool. What do you got against oil? How else are we supposed to lubricate engines or maintain fine hairstyles? To answer, I will recite one of my incendiary poems on the matter. <gasps> oh, God, he's breeding another one. For Canada, fill in the blank! But soft, what shame on yonder pipeline breaks? Tis the government trading blood for oil. Ow! Ow! Hot! See, Petey, that's how you get things done. Reading poems, singing songs, and waving signs of a pussies. You want to get ahead, you got to have balls. And you got to show them. Like you are right now, big guy? Oh, sorry. Hello, friend. Can Cookie McDougal count on your vote for the PTA? Sorry, I'm voting for my husband. Is that so? Cheech, show her the incentive package. Next time, your husband will be in there. My husband was in there. Vote Cookie. Do I have your word you're gonna vote for Cookie? Uh, no. <laughs> Are those cookies? What else am I going to wear on laundry day? Not so fast. You voting cookie for the PTA? Right this way, madam. That's better. Come on, Jimmy. Let the kids out. 
They can't even vote. No, but their parents can. Good point. Woohoo! We did it! We shut the pipeline down for 15 whole minutes! <gasps> Don't engage the police! We may have taken ballsy hardcore action, but we must remain peaceful. Run for your lives! They're gonna murder us! <laughs> Don't shoot! But if you have to, tell the world I wet myself after you fired. Don't be silly. We don't shoot suspects in Canada unless they're mentally ill or don't speak English. Those were mere warning shots for interfering with the pipeline. Pop said I needed to show more balls. Well, thanks to your balls, I'm going to have to report you. That means I'll have a record. Ladies love a badass. <laughs> After nine recounts, it's my horror, uh, honor, to welcome the new PTA Vice President, Twinkie McDougal. That's Cookie McDougal, but thank you, Mr. President. Yeah! <clears throat> my first order of business is to get rid of school vending machines for the sake of our kids' health. You suck! Um, no. You can't get rid of those machines. They're a source of revenue for after-school sports programs. Which kids wouldn't need if they stayed off junk food. On that note, as president of the PTA, I'm going to put you in charge of the vending machines. So, Cookie's in charge of the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, snack Nancy! Psst! I heard on a grapevine how your wife got elected. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm not here to dangle your chubblies over a fire. I want your help passing Bill 158 through the provincial legislature. Politics? Do I look like a criminal to you? Actually, don't answer that. Too bad. I could pay you from the public trough. And it's a big trough, Jimmy. How big we talking? And what, if I may ask, is a trough? Caramel-coated jelly butts? Chocolate-covered cheese puffs? Cheese-coated licorice nipples? Why do these say, for sale only in schools and mental hospitals? Cause President Annabelle doesn't care about good nutrition. You know, this garbage is why there's a child obscenity problem. Oh, I'm fucking starving. Ma, you got any? Ooh, jackpot. Absolutely not. No kid of mine is eating this junk. Delicious junk. I could live on this stuff. Young lady, if that's all you ate, You'd be so unhealthy that Annabelle would have to ban these machines forever! Challenge accepted. Gina, that's so bad for you. So are STDs, but that don't stop you from gobbling any old... Eat your fudge holes! I am proud to announce with the support of my enormous caucus... Ha! Caucus! <laughs> ...that Bill 158 has passed! How do you like that? We did our part to change the world. The real satisfaction is that we were paid a buttload of money. Jimmy, I need to see Petey right away. What did he do? Hug a tree to death? Worse, the recently passed Bill 158 makes any environmental protest an act of terrorism. Bill 158? Which I... Uh, had nothing to do with. Of course, if you did, you'd be a terrible father because this new law means Petey is a terrorist. I'm here to place him under arrest. Uh, Jimbo, maybe some time in the big house is just what the kid needs? Sure, sure. Wait here, McCool. We'll go get him for you. Take your time. Let Petey cry it out before I bring him in. If the other convicts catch him weeping, they'll pass him around like a pumpernickel bowl of spinach dip. You know they took off, right? No, no, they're upstairs right now, preparing Petey to face justice. Uh-huh. Oh, why am I so naive? How long are we supposed to stay here? I'm claustrophobic. I need my mouth guard and my neti pot to clear my sinuses. Kid, it's been two hours. Relax. I don't know how you could stand going on the lam in the old life. It was tough. Hiding at the Plaza Hotel under an assumed name, doing blow all day, surrounded by hookers. God, I miss it. I got supplies. You know, if you hadn't made fun of my lack of balls, I probably wouldn't be a wanted fugitive right now. 
You don't know the half of it, kid. We're the ones who rammed through the bill that made you a terrorist. Ah, oh, Jesus, Cheech! That was you? In my defense, I got paid a lot of money. Way to man up and fight for what's right, Pop. You're nothing but a two-bit bag man who sold out his own son! At least he's not a Taliban. Neither am I! And I'm gonna fight this like a man! Whee! The kid's a monster! I don't know, Ma. This junk food diet you got Gina on feels like a bad idea. It's just temporary. I'm trying to prove a point for the greater good. Did you feel that? Felt like an impact tremor. <gasps> now I get why Pop and his guys were so big. Someone messes with you, you give him a little belly buck. Boom! They're down for the count. But you're turning into a whale. Ah, zip it, Skeletor. You're nothing but a chubby, hating fattish. Ma, this is child abuse, and I'm not gonna stand for it. Ooh, ooh. There, now you're not standing. All right, we're conducting a hard target search of every roadhouse, outhouse, chicken house, and steakhouse in a three-kilometer radius. Actually, our targets are tree-hugging enviro terrorists, so skip the steakhouse. Meanwhile, I have a plan so crazy it just might work. What took you so long? The vain hope you'd have a change of heart and bring Petey back. Ain't happening, McCool. We're on the land. You can look for us, but it'll be like chasing a wind. Keep looking for him. Petey and I are shadows in the night. You might get close, but we'll slip through your fingers like smoke. He just showed up. Damn it! I'm surrendering peacefully, McCool. Good for you, Petey, but Bill 158 is very specific. I'm sorry to have to do this. Do what? No! Die, you terrorist pig! That's laying it on a bit thick, but protocol is protocol. Oh. What happened to you, McCool? You used to be a servant of the people. Now you're just a stooge for big oil. If that's going to be your attitude, you leave me no choice. Me, 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 B, 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 a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Me, me, good. Here, you must be thirsty. Thanks. Ah! Well, I'm thirsty for justice, you little punk. Whoa, 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 take it easy. Can't you see the kid's scared? Oh, he'll be scared, all right, when all he has is a toothbrush to fend off his kill crazy cellmate, Cannibal Dave. What's happening? Better play ball, kid. I can't control him when he's like this. Just give me a lead pipe and five minutes alone with this little twerp. Are you playing good cop and bad cop? Budget cuts, Petey. Work with me. What the hell's going on in here? I was just about to tell Petey his only way out of jail is to reveal the identity of his fellow terrorists. Hear that, kid? Tell these guys who your hippie friends are right now. No! Unlike some people in this room, I'm not a rat! You son of a bitch! No, McCruel, don't! I'm not gonna let some snot-nosed panty waste call me a goddamn rat! He means me, McCool! Calm down! Here, have some water. No one tells me to calm down! I specifically said I want the protection money and coins. Now you gotta pay twice! <laughs> Between these sugar crashes and my sleep apnea, I'm dying over here! Hey, you! Come here! Get back! Get back here, you little sh bird! Poor, needlessly obese child. You need responsible adult intervention. <sighs> Thank God. Out of my way, mooks! Freak, a machine took my... <laughs> Um, hi. I'm a vegetarian, and I have food sensitivities. Can you run me through any non-GMO menu options? When I eat you alive, will that make me a vegetarian? I'm asking for a friend who I recently ate. You mean whom I recently ate? <laughs> ah! I'm gonna run screaming now. It's dinner time. 
No, no, I'm still hearing beat you, but I think you mean eat you. <laughs> Didn't your mother tell you it's rude to talk with your mouth full? Don't you talk about my mother! <laughs> hey, hey, spit it out! Come on, spit it out! The skinny kid's whooping Cannibal uh, Dave! Finally! Someone standing up to that psycho! I think we got ourselves a new psycho. I gotcha! Now spit it out! <laughs> Yeah, that's right, I'm crazy! Anyone else want a slice of PD pie? Can you please pass the salt? Bitches? Since we helped you, I thought you might spring my kid from the old felony resort. Sorry, lads. I don't negotiate with the parents and uncles of terrorists. What about aunts? Say the word. I throw on a dress, you and I hop on a plane to Boca. My boy might be a know-it-all, a pain in the ass, and a god-awful poet, but he ain't a terrorist. The law says he is. <laughs> Me hands are tied. <laughs> A lady friend did this last night, but you see me point. That pipeline's a cash cow, and I intend to suckle her teat till me belly's full and me lips blister. <laughs> I see what's going on here. You need a little incentive to change your mind. Can you break a ten? Get out of me office! Pleasure doing business with you. You didn't do any business! I got a whole ten spot says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you've gone too far, Ma? There's Japanese whalers circling the house. Relax, Teresa. A few more pounds and she'll be unhealthy enough for me to call a PTA meeting. You know, I'm getting sick of people talking about me like I'm not even here. It ain't like I'm hard to miss. As soon as I get rid of those vending machines, I'll give you some carrots and you'll go back to normal. Listen to yourself. What do you mean, normal? You saying I'm not normal? Just cause... Hang on! <sighs> cause I gained a few pounds? I'm still me, you know! Jeez, get off your soapbox, kid. Before it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Laugh it up at the fat kid, you jerks! I can still kick your asses! As long as I just lean on something for a while while I'm doing it. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, bring me some freaking cupcakes. Okay, kid, time to tell on your little jihadi friends and come home. No way! I'm not a snitch. Wait a sec. How the hell are you still alive? I followed the old adage and kicked someone's ass on my first day. Good for you, kid. Whose ass? This one? No, actually, Cannibal Dave here got on the wrong side of old Psycho Pete. Look at you with a prison nickname. Oh, you put me on. You beat up this guy. Whoa, shame on you, pal. Cheech, drop it. It don't add up. No way a weed like you could take on this palooka. Am I wrong? Can we drop it? You see, that makes sense to me. Petey, just name names before Cannibal Dave comes back for another helping. I will not rat out my friends. I have to take a stand. Visiting hours are over. I was wrong about you, kid. You got bigger balls than I thought. Oh. Need a painkiller? No, you're sitting on my colostomy bag. <laughs> now they'll see what vending machines do to kids. Better hurry, Ma. Annabelle's about to steal your thunder. Irresponsible parents who don't care what their children eat are why I want to remove all vending machines from our schools. Don't you dare, Westminster. I'm the VP of the PTA, and I have fed my kid nothing but vending machine junk food to prove... <gasps> you did this on purpose? What kind of a mother are you? Gina's fine. She's been on a blissful sugar high for days. Lower me down! Forget vending machines. The real story here is how crappy you people treat overweight kids. 
I think the real story is the childhood obesity epidemic. That go eat a sandwich, phony M. <gasps> Maybe if you media jag off, stop celebrating people for looking like skeletons? Portly kids like me when... Oh, crap! Run for your lives! Chugzilla will kill us all! <laughs> all right. We're gonna get ourselves busted as terrorists, cause Petey needs help on the inside. He better give me the top bunk or I'll cut him. While we're at it, we'll hit O'Shea where it hurts, right in the pipe. Boost me up. Once we're terrorists, do we gotta pay dues? Either that is really shoddy workmanship, or we are the A-team of Wrecking Crews. I love it when a plan comes together. Jeez, no! The pipeline appears to have been built with substandard materials as part of a kickback scheme masterminded by Premier O'Shea. Shame on the voters for electing me! The judge agreed and fined everyone in the province $600. The men who uncovered the plot had this to say. Their faces have been distorted for reasons that are none of your business. We were, uh, just innocently walking by when the pipeline broke. And we didn't have to use a bomb or nothing. Oh, sorry. I meant or anything. Bill 158 has been repealed. Activists throughout the province are singing Yub Yub and dancing like happy Ewoks. You did it, Pop! You did it! Thank God I'm getting out of here! Unfortunately, along with the pipeline being destroyed, so too were the surrounding wetlands. Damn it! How does it feel to be a free man, kid? We miss the quiet time in jail, don't we, Wilson? Nice to see you looking healthy again, Gina. I miss my scooter. You were hell on wheels, sweetie. Another one died. Sorry, Petey. Oil-covered avian, who hears your call? I do. Kaka! Cheats, no! Greetings, citizens. The Falcone family aren't the only ones who had an old life. Before I became a witness protector, I was head of Saskatchewan Crime Scene Investigations. And that's when he slipped on the ice and hit his head. I suppose one could say... I hope he says it was an icy reception. It was an unfortunate accident. Give him time, he'll get better at these. Sadly, my fellow officers watched too much TV and expected me to entertain them. Looks like he had a heart attack while going through the car wash. I guess he's all... Washed up. Say washed up. Done getting his car washed. <sighs> this guy is boring. Shortly thereafter, I was pulled off CSI detail because I refused to belittle police work with corny one-liners and catchphrases. <laughs> For Canada, where self-awareness isn't our strong suit. I wonder where he goes when he takes off like that. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Thank you, Jaden's father, for telling us about your exciting job with Canada's space program. And now, from Regina Tourism, let's do our best to welcome Mr. McDougal. <gasps> Why didn't anyone run this by me? Webster's Dictionary defines tourism as a neurological disorder characterized by compulsive utterances of obscenities. That's Tourette's, you stupid illiterate f***. Huh? Oh, oh, uh, right. Uh, we all know why the chicken crossed the road, but do you know how? With the help of tourism, that's... Too bad you can't tell him about your old job. The one you crapped all over to become a paper-pushing desk monkey in a fake-o industry made up by the government. Ooh, you're a senator. Screw you. I work for a living. Yeah, like every other sucker. You make me want to puke. <laughs> 
Thanks for helping me practice driving, but why the disguise? If I'm seen with a full-on nerd, the other kids will think I'm downtrending. I am not a full-on nerd. Oh my god, look at that cumulonimbus cloud! It looks like Schrodinger's cat! Victoria Huntersmith, the kind of girl guys like me admire from afar, but never, ever get to speak to. At least that's what the principal told me at orientation. Forget the insurance! Just get out and start punching yourself in the balls as a sign of inferiority! Hey, I know you from school. You're one of the total losers who... Whoa, is that your girlfriend? Who, her? She's gorgeous. What's your name? PD. You're kinda cute. Sorry I rammed you from behind. Maybe you can ram me from the front sometime. See you at school. Why'd she leave? Why isn't she suing and or humiliating you? I have no idea what just happened. Ha! Who's the dumb one now? Gina's right, I'm a loser. I used to run a crime syndicate. Now all I do is run out of pencils. Which reminds me, Toby told me to order more pencils. Where's my pencil? Here, stuff a couple of these down your pants to fill the void. Oh, very funny. It's not my fault nothing ever happens down at Regina Tourism. The Jimmy I know doesn't wait for nothing to happen. He makes nothing happen. And when the chips are down, my money's on him. Every time. Really? Yeah! You were once the king of New York! There's no reason you can't be the king of vagina! Regina, but whatever. Take the full weight of balls, Jimmy! All right! Let's do this! Ah! First thing tomorrow. Oh, yeah, no, it's getting kind of late. Hey, Pete. Wow, I'm a Pete now. Want to hang out, or will your hot mystery girlfriend get jealous? Oh, uh, she doesn't even go to this school. Ooh, then what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Come with me. Are you skipping? What? No, I tripped on something. Rhythmically, several times in succession, not skipping. Hey, guys, this is Pete. I'm confused. Why am I here and not being stuffed into that garbage can, for example? You know how you look at someone and they're, like, a total loser? Only in the mirror. But then you see them in another light, and suddenly they're really interesting. <sighs> it's too bad you have a girlfriend. Who knew pretend dating my own sister would have a downside? And so I present to you our new promotional campaign, Regina, now with 30% less black flies. You want to bring some real tourism to this backwater burg? Talk to me. Um, this is Jimmy, whom we can thank for the pencils we're using. Pencils. Oh, pencils. Uh, Fellas, pencils. I got an idea that'll bring so much money into this town, the black flies will be driving Bentleys, and I can sum it up in one word. Gun show? Abba reunion? Porno convention? How about all of those and more? Hit it, Cheech! Ah. I got a plan that just won't lose. So drop the beavers, flies, and moose. The crowds will come on planes and rockets with tons of cash to line up pockets. A rub and tug on every block? Dabernak, that sure would rock. Legalizing marijuana? We could be like Tijuana. That ain't it, you stupid rubes. No blowing loads of smoking dubs. They got these joints in Vegas and Reno. You know what I mean. It's a... It's a... Huh? Rhymes with Reno? Uh, Holocaust Museum? No, you jackass! It's a casino! <laughs> There's no one here, Schwa. I hope you have a song for how we're gonna pay for all this, Schwa. Oh my god, I blew it, Cook. 
I think I really am a schnook. That's the spirit, Jimmy. Keep singing! Don't fold them just yet, Jimmy. Like I said, when the chips are down... <laughs> I always bet on you! Oh, Jimmy? Hey, sweetie. You want to get out of here? <sighs> sure, Cheech. Whoa, Cook! Sorry, I thought you was a hooker. Amazing work, Jimmy. Fun fact, in Canada, profits from gambling are reinvested in health, education, and infrastructure. That fact is nowhere near fun. What are you doing here, anyway? Don't you got a gambling problem? It's horse. He's excited about the casino, but I worry it might prove overwhelming for him. There's an old saying in the casino business, McCool. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking horse. I got three Japanese businessmen cleaning up a blackjack. Want me to pep and yucky their faces? Don't bother. I sent in a cooler. Bust, heart attack, oh. space debris. That old prick's lifetime losing streak is finally paying off. Hey, go tell that slob at the poker table about our dress code. It would be my pleasure. Look at you, Mr. Casino Manager. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Maybe you got a little something for the person who inspired all this? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> I know what you mean. Follow me. Would it kill you to wear a tie? This is my thanks? A job at the coat check? I also got a tip. Lose the attitude. It's bad for business. Yo, Gazangas. I want you to show Mr. Takamori here a good time. Need I remind you that I'm your mother, young lady? Need I remind you that I'm your boss, sugar tits? You are so grounded after I punch out tonight. Hey, Pete. I just wanted to tell you that Mystery Girl dumped me. So I'm single and ready to tingle. Uh, Petey, that's not cool. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Hey, you called me Petey. What happened to Pete? Pete got dumped. Cool kids never get dumped. We do the dumping like this. <laughs> you guys are really good at this. I haven't touched the side once. Hear that silence? It's how things sounded before white people came. I sure hope they come back soon. Oh, it's a dark day when we're asking for the whiteies to return. Yo, Pop, Crybaby here's got a beef. You stole my customers, Jimmy. I can almost taste the food you're taking from my children's mouths. I'm just giving people what they want, Terry. By that, I mean loose slots, not, you know, starving kids. Could you give me some tips? I'd love to help you, but I can't. Because I'm native? No, because you're my competition. Why do you guys always get so racial? Funny, you get that way after you've been beat down for centuries. Look, I'll make it up to you. We got a nice steakhouse here. You'll always have a reservation. Oh, you're hilarious, Jimmy. What? What did I say? What are you doing here, Terry? Getting screwed by your husband. It's been so friggin' long, I almost forgot what that's like. If I could get in to see him, I'd punch his fat face. I had to slip Gina 50 bucks. Why didn't I think of that? Come on, let's have a drink. Okay, but you're buying. I can't, I gave Gina all my money. If this works, I'll be back at the cool table with Victoria before you know it. Be right back. Hmm, this should cover Jetsy's high nipples. <gasps> this is not what it looks like. I'm just trying on your bra to see if it'll fit Jetsy. Those are my swimming goggles. Well, where have you been all my life? Anyone ever tell you you could be a model? <laughs> so if I break up with Jetsy in front of everyone, I might have a shot with Victoria. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. There's no way Jetsy could play Mystery Girl. What else am I supposed to do? Use the actress who originated the role. You do that for me? Of course. Every great star gives back to the underprivileged. Now here's my contract. This is a stereo warranty. I'm playing along, can't you? Look at you, you degenerate gambling lowlife. I gave you two grand mark and you blew it already. <laughs> if you shrug them weird horsey shoulders at me again, I swear your head's gonna wind up in someone's bed. Think I'm joking? 
try me, motherfucker. Okay, okay, I've got him, Gina. Come on, old friend. I'll take you home. You've crapped out. Literally, I'm afraid. For Canada! Where even the hopelessly addicted get a free ride! Why the hell are we so empty? Cheech probably cooled the whole joint. Nah, he called in sick today. Well, word on the street is the Blackport Casino's really cleaning up. Maybe I should go over there for a little powwow. Did you hear yourself? Show some sensitivity, will ya? Go watch Pocahontas or some sh**. How you doing? You can spice in my joint, I'll beat it out of you. I swear, mark my words. Ho-ho! Is that a shrimp boat? Well, Jimmy, looks like the moccasins on the other foot. Part of the rebranding. Free moccasins for everyone. Huh? Jeez, what the hell are you doing here? Hey, Jimmy! I mean, uh... <coughs> this is not the doctor's office. Oh, Jimmy, stop! She made an offer I couldn't refuse. Working for tips. What do you mean, she? Take your hands off my crap stealer, Jimmy. Cookie? What are you doing here? I'm running this joint. Over. Hey, Takamura! I told you she was lucky. What the hell do you know about running a casino anyway? More than you, I worked in Atlantic City. On the boardwalk, guessing people's weight. To these guys, that's the big time. And it beats working the coat check. That's what this is about? Fine. If you don't like the coat check, we'll find you something in the kitchen. Get out of my office. I'm warning you. If you don't quit right now, I will bury this casino. Like you buried your face in that shrimp boat? Bring it on, fat man. <laughs> Oh, that's me. I got a new ringtone. Hello? Hey, Jetsy, how you doing? So come on down to Saskatchewan Casino, where we don't have roaches infesting our buffet. We don't have roaches, but we do have the loosest sluts in town. We also got the loosest sluts in town. <laughs> Ain't that right, sweetie? This week at Saskatchewan Casino, the incredible Kevin will give every audience member a new car. <laughs> new car, my ass. They're ripping them off from my parking lot, see? But you won't care about that when you're cruising the skies of Regina in our new free helicopter tour. At Saskatchewan Casino, we've got Canadian rock legends, the Guess Who? <laughs> Tribute band? <laughs> the Guess Whom? <laughs> Cook, I can't take this no more. Let's call a truce. Your casino takes senior citizens and welfare moms. I'll take guys cutting loose on business trips. Who gets all the chronic gamblers? We'll divvy them up with some kind of lottery, which they will no doubt gamble on. Cheech? Tell this ungrateful egomaniac to go f himself. But edit the swear for the kid's sake. Cheech, can you also ask Jetsy to call me? I miss him. She's known as Juicy now, and I took away her cell phone. Speaking of Juicy, did anyone ever tell you that you could be an escort? That's Teresa! Oh, I didn't recognize you, kid. It's because I'm in character. Come on, Petey, let's go to make-out points. Have fun, kids! Wait, what did she say? Come on, Cheech. We gotta pick up our headliners at the airport. I don't want to keep Paul and Ringo waiting. <gasps> Hear that? She's got the Rolling Stones. It's time to pull out the big gun. I meant it metaphorically. Put this back in the garage. So this is make-out point, Regina style. Let's begin. <clears throat> so, what did you want to talk to me about, Petey? You look so serious. I brought you here so I can officially dump you. Um, did we land on a name? You are dumping me? Anastasia Champagne Superstar? Oh, Christ, we did. You sleep with 
with my mother, you kill my father, kick my dog and steal our family fortune, leaving us homeless and prostitute. Destitute! Okay, good texture, but roll it back a little. Yes, I am dumping you, Anastasia! <gasps> <gasps> What the <gasps> hell? Where did you get that? The garage. Where else? I won't live without you. None of this is in the script. I'm an artist. I improvised. Yeah. On second thought, if I can't have you, no one will. Teresa, would you stop? Did he say Teresa? <gasps> oh my god, that's Teresa McDougal. <gasps> Petey's dating his own sister! Yeah. <gasps> that is so gross! F***ing inbred Scottish weirdos! Oh. And scene! Webster's Dictionary defines impossible as the act of placing private property in custody of an officer of the law. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Saskatchewan Casino is pleased to bring you from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, the Titanic. Paul and Ringo Chang's miniature rodeo was a total bust. <laughs> Hello, Stonehenge? How much to ship them rocks to Canada? You druid motherfuckers want to play hardball? I got the hardest balls in town. Hey, Cook. Listen, I can't run the casino no more. I'm gonna ask Toby to transfer me back to my desk job. Yay! Oh, really? So you beat me, and you're retiring before I get a chance Look. to... Oh, that's sweet and gross. Now look over there. That's the guy who ran the casino on this tub. That'll be me if we keep this up. You're gonna die on a boat? No, I'll be alone. I wouldn't have had any of this if it wasn't for you believing in me. Was that so hard? You had to raise the freaking Titanic to avoid showing me a little gratitude? And look at those stupid skeletons. Oh, the ship's sinking. I better go have a nap. Morons. Come here, babe. Jeez. What were the odds of that thing going down again? Unsinkable, my ass. Hey, guys. Any chance I... <laughs> <sighs> I guess tis better to have loved and lost your own sister than never to have... Ugh, no, that's not right. Teresa, why aren't you being ostracized? Because I don't use words like ostrich size and I don't fool around with my sister, you sick pervert! But fooling around with your brother is okay? It is if you're hot. I don't make the rules, Petey. Wish I had a brother to fool around with. That is so gross! Did I just wake up in crazy town? Neither of you works at a casino no more? Sweetie, with Pop's casino gone, the Black Paw don't need me. You mooks threw away the best thing that ever happened to us. You know what would make you feel better? Do not condescend to me, Ma. Ha! It's condensate. Who's the banana now, Gina? All right. How about you hop up on this here bed? And help us count all the money we skimmed. Uh, why'd you have to get all mushy on me? Anyone seen Cheech, by the way? And who's giving the bride away? I am, Your Majesty. <laughs> Pull yourself together. He's a good catch. Freeze! That bride is underage! Good luck, Juicy! I'm keeping the dowry! <laughs> How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal, but I used to be Jimmy Falcone. You probably read about me in the papers. Mafia big shot turned government stooly. What you don't know is, despite all the bad stuff I done in my life, the one thing I'm most ashamed of was ratting out my friends. That and the time I had to give my grandmother a bath. He was so gentle. You mind? Mr. Falcone, you told us your crimes. Now please point to your accomplices. How could I do it? I love these guys. 
Sure, they was trying to kill me, but that's no reason to ruin a buddy's life. Uh, what was the question again? Enough stalling, Mr. Falcone. Either you testify and you and your family will receive protection, or you can all take your chances on the street. That's blackmail! Arrest that man! Final warning, Mr. Falcone. Fine. To keep my family safe, I'll do it. Here goes. Ready? I'm going to point now. Yes, I am. Can you feel the tension? You can cut it with a knife. Especially you, Tommy. Have it your way, Mr. Falcone. Perhaps your friends will give you a ride home. Okay! Him, 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 him. Now get us to Arizona. Oh, uh, Mr. Falcone, it may be best if you don't announce where we'll be hiding you. Yeah, that was dumb. Can't hide in Arizona now. How about Florida? Oh my god. New Mexico. And that's how we came to be living here in Vagina... Regina. Saskatchewan. But if any of you think a little cold weather's gonna get us down, forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Leave the sauce alone, Jimmy. Okay. Gina, do your homework. I already did it. I want to check it. Jimmy, leave the sauce alone. Okay. It's not due till Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Not due till Friday. Now, you listen here, young lady. Mom, can I have $400? No. When I say do your homework, you do your homework. Not later, not after your show, but now. Jimmy, the sauce. Okay. I already handed it in. That's not fair. Why not? Because I said so. You did not hand it in. And leave the sauce alone! Okay. Mother, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, and it's always best to lead by example. Observe. Gina, I already did my homework, and now I'm doing it a second time. Get out of town. Honest, homework can be fun. It can? For real? I hope she wets on you. Daddy, can I have $400? Okay. What the hell are you doing? Are you giving her money? I just said no! The kids always come to me after you say no. Why do I have to be the bad guy? Why can't you ever be the bad guy? Cook, we met when I robbed your father's liquor store. I'm always the bad guy. Oh, and then we got drunk on the stolen Sambuca. It was our first date. <laughs> to this day, I don't know why your father don't like me. All right, Teresa, maybe I answered too quickly. Why do you want the money? Well, I was at the mall the other day, and I saw the cutest little cashmere dog. I would look so adorable with its little fluffy head peeking out of my little designer purse. I'd bend over to give it a little kiss, and everyone would look at me and just die. Honest to God, Cook, it's like Chinese to me. Three times ten? Yes, that is boring. But what if it asked, three of your friends owe you ten dollars each, how much money are you owed in total? 30. 34 with the big. And I better have it by Friday. You're right. This is fun. Jimmy, you know what I love most about Regina? The excitement? Yes, but more than that, in addition to being the capital of Saskatchewan, Regina is also the second largest city in the province after Saskatoon and Canada's 18th largest by population. Its summer agricultural exhibition was originally established in 1884 as the Assiniboia Agricultural Association. I got it. I don't want it, but it's something to do, so I got it. Vagina tourism. You may need a bit more training. Regina tourism? Why, yes. Regina was named in 1882 after Queen Victoria, i.e. Victoria Regina, by her daughter, Princess Louise. No, sir, that's Saskatoon. We're the second largest. No, sir, that's Saskatoon also. No, 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 that's all Saskatoon! Well, if you love Saskatoon so much, why don't you just marry it? Unlike other planned cities in the Canadian West, Regina had no topographical features other than Wiscana Creek. Early planners took advantage of such 
I tell you, Cheech, I can't take this job no more. All I do is sit around thinking of ways to off myself. And I'm running out of ideas. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Let's talk this through. Have you considered exploding yourself in a microwave like I'd done to Eddie the Gimp? I'm not actually trying to kill myself, Cheech. I'm just a little down. Hey, you seem a little down, Jimmy. But I know what you need. Yes, sir, I know exactly what you need. A good old-fashioned strip joint. Ah, a taste of the old life. Great idea, Cheech. Don't tell Cookie. Wow, I feel good just saying that again. Don't tell Cookie. Okay, okay, I haven't actually been in one, but I've been scoping them out. Don't worry, I got others. I can't find my foot. What's the difference between a duck? I don't know. What is the difference between a duck? I already told you, I don't know. Stop asking me. Oh, there it is. I found my foot. Oh, no, sorry. It's someone else's foot. I don't even want to go inside. I can't believe it. A town called Vagina and not one strip club? What's become of us, Jimmy? It's times like this I'm glad I'm in witness protection because if anyone back home knew I lived in a town with no strip club, I'd be so embarrassed I'd have to go into witness protection. You can say that again. You know, if some dumb schmuck with half a brain opened a strip club in this town, he could make some serious coin. He'd make a freaking fortune. Hey, we could be that dumb schmuck. Cheech, we're gonna open a strip club. Jimmy, you're a genius. I would never have thought of that. A strip club. It's perfect for us. It's our bed and butter. I believe the expression is bed and breakfast. So it's agreed. Tomorrow we dig out the nest day, get our money from the old life, find a place, and start renovating. This is a great idea. It's a license to print money. Every man in town will be there. Oh, my God. We got a problem. Is it peeing, Jimmy? I got such a problem, peeing. No, the Fed. Our goody two-shoes Mountie, our protector. He'll never let us do this. Then we don't tell him. And just to be safe, we don't tell no one. This club will be our little secret. Kay, you're definitely not in charge of marketing. <laughs> I got here as fast as I could, Jimmy. What's the problem? Because two problem, me problem. Okay, before you say no, hear me out. Me and Cheech want to open a strip club. The town don't have one, so we're providing a public service. And if it don't work, nobody gets hurt but us. There's no law against it, Jimmy. I think it's a splendid idea. I will be there opening night to support you. Honey bastard. I beg your pardon? That's what we're calling it, the horny bastard. So we can do this? As long as you follow the provincial guidelines. Bare breasts and bums permitted, but no full frontal or related mons pubis if alcohol is served. Ladies may touch the man's face, arms, chest, and inner thigh, but must remain a minimum five centimeters from his genitalic region. Men may not touch, fondle, grope, or lick, and must be kept at least three centimeters from her breasts. This to be measured from the tip of the nipple and not the areola or breast major. There goes my boner. I'm proud of you, Jimmy. This is your first step towards becoming a semi-respected member of the community, and I trust you'll do well at it. For Canada and her public education system ranked 11th in the world! Gina, eat your asparagus. I did. No, you didn't. I'm not hungry. You go, girl. Don't eat if you don't wanna. That's how they make you fat. Stick to your guns and you can grow up to be hot and anorexic like me. I thought you were bulimic. Only when I'm hungry. Thank you, Teresa. Gina, eat it. I don't want to get fat. Can I change the subject to me? I've put a lot of thought into the cashmere dog, and I've come up with the perfect argument for why you need to give me the money to buy it. All right, what's your argument? I look really, really, really cute. Then get a job. When your father and I were teenagers, we worked for things we wanted. I was sweeping up at the beauty parlor, and your dad was already breaking legs for Joey the Shark. But it's a different world now. We have internet and texting and cell phones and automobiles. The answer is no. You just don't want me to look good because you don't, and I hate you! So what else is new? Gina, eat your asparagus! Petey is needing his. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Petey, eat your asparagus. Mother, I'm allergic, remember? No, you're not. And don't you get it? It's like the homework thing. Gina looks up to you and she'll do what you do. Okay. Gina, asparagus is good for you. I'm allergic. No, I'm allergic. No one's allergic. Petey, eat it. Fine. Hey, this is pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are allergic. So we're looking for a manager, someone to run a joint, because we don't want to do any actual work. We just want to be the owners, make all the money, boss people around, and pay as little as we can. We're like Walmart, but with naked ladies. <laughs> Next! Because I adore ladies, especially naked ones, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and everyone knows only a straight man would manage a place like this, which I am. <laughs> so straight, it's scary. First off, no nudity. I'll work 24 hours a day, I don't care. Come on, Jimmy, I've run joints like this before. Yeah, right into the ground. Oh, Cheech, you're talking to my wife here. I'm sorry, Cook, but we checked your references. If I was the manager of this club, I'd make sure that the girls are beautiful, but also have a certain uh, schwa, schwa, schwa. Schwa, 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 schwa. And if we could find just one with a schwa, 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 schwa. I like him. Me too. Okay, Mac, you're hired. Who'd have thought we'd wind up with the Puerto Rican guy? <laughs> It's just a haircut. They're gonna put a sharp blade next to my head. Forget it! You look adorable. Yeah! What's going on? Gina needs a haircut, but she won't... No. I told you you'd look adorable. You know, a ride home would have been nice. Heck of a job, Monsieur Schwa Schwa. The joint looks great, and the girls you hired are gorgeous. Well, it is a pleasure for moi aussi, Monsieur McAdoo de Girl, parce que I love very much to schwa, 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 schwa. Who doesn't? Jim, we got a problem. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that is a little too close. Remember the three centimeter rule? It's more than three centimeters. I highly doubt that. 3.8, I stand corrected. All right, bring it in a little. Gentle circles, no pinching. I won't tell you again. And you, inner thigh, inner, what's so hard about that? What's the big deal? The girls won't break the rules, not with a fed. No, no, it ain't that. All our best girls just want to dance for him. And our customers are starting to complain. I want to come home with you tonight, special agent. No, take me. No, me. I could have this place shut down for just asking me that dancer number three. But I'll let it slide this time if you all promise to never make such a request to a customer again. We promise. Of course, if you happen to follow me home of your own accord and no money changes hands, well, then it's all just good, clean fun. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it tonight. Tonight, we celebrate. To the horny bastard. The horny bastard. The horny bastard. Shwa, shwa. Thank you, Delilah. And now, all the way from Paris, Ontario, put your hands together for the beautiful Paris, Ontario. Ah, this one is a real fine. Teresa! Daddy? Oh my god! Oh, that is hot. Teresa! I can't believe you come to places like this. You're sick! What are you talking about? Me and Cheech owned a joint. So I know the owner. That's a very good connection for me. Okay, but you'll have to leave the main room when I'm on stage. Are you crazy? I'm not letting you work here. You mean, you're firing me? You're my daughter! And what kind of man fires his own daughter? I hate you! F Oh, Gina, I made you a dentist appointment for next Thursday. I'm not going. Oh, sweetie, it's just a routine checkup. Your brother needs a root canal. No, I don't. Shh. All right. If Petey goes, I'll go. Oh, come on. 
Where's Teresa? In her room. What's wrong? Nothing. Bad day on the job. Very bad day on the job. Stupendous day on the job. You schwa 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 schwa. You schwa schwa schwa. You schwa. Monsieur Le Mondi, we appreciate your schwa schwa schwa. Mais schwa 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 schwa. Schwa 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 schwa. Ah, your French is very good. Schwa schwa. Baby, can't we talk this out? Oh, it's not fair, Daddy. All I wanted was $400, but Mom said I had to get a job. She didn't say be a stripper. She didn't say not to be a stripper. And I have wanted to do this ever since I thought of it the other day. Boys like me anyway. I bet they'd like me even more naked. Oh, princess. You don't want boys to like you for that. You're a smart, capable young woman with a big heart and a good mind. One day you'll find a boy who loves you for that. And that's all you'll ever need. Aw, oh, Daddy. That is so gay. Baby, I don't want us to fight. Then don't thwart my dreams. I love to dance. I live to dance. And I'll never forgive you because I hate you. <sighs> all right. How about I just give you the $400? I love you! But I don't want your mother knowing I'm going behind her back. Don't worry. I don't tell you or Mommy anything when I go behind your backs. Good. Wait. Okay, good. <laughs> Would you keep it down? You're scaring your sister. Daddy! Uncle Cheech! I'd like you to meet the newest member of our family, Paris Ontario. I gave him my stripper name. Does it bite? Cheech, it's cashmere. So, I don't know. Do cashmere's bite? I love it so much, Daddy. Thank you. Just want to make you happy, Princess. I hoped you'd say that, because when I got her, I saw the cutest diamond-studded collar. So, can I have $500 more to stay happy? No. Out of the question. That's not fair! Then let me earn it at the club! We've been through this. All the other cashmere dogs have diamond collars. Why do you have to make Paris feel less than? I hate you! Okay, fine. Here. I love you! Did you just buy your daughter's love? Hey, it was for sale, and I wanted it. And not a single cavity. And you've sat in the chest so bravely. I hate your family. Hey, how come there's two Genas? Mom! Mom! Look what I got! Isn't she the cutest thing you ever saw? Where'd you get the money for this? Oh, um, I got a job. Doing what? Uh, working for Daddy. She's just keeping her books. She don't even know what kind of club it is. I do all the adding and the takeaways. Oh, I am so proud of you. You wanted something and you went out and got it. Thanks, Mom. You want to meet Paris, Ontario? Aw, so this is what all the fuss was about. I can see why. It's adorable. Keep it to yourself, Cook. But I've been trying to play with that dog, and I believe it to be dead. I've been saving up for a diamond-studded collar for her. Yes, absolutely yes. And you know what would go perfectly with a diamond-studded collar? A gold mesh leash. OMG! You are so right, Mommy. And fortunately for me, today's payday. Isn't it, Daddy? Why, yes, sweetie. Today is payday. I love you! Oh, things are really turning around. You got a business going that's right up your alley. Teresa's becoming responsible. Gina's behaving. Being forced to come to Regina may have been the best thing for this family. Gina, time to get ready for ballet class. Put on your tutu. Ah! <laughs> Hey, Jimmy boy, why so glum? This thing with Teresa, it's emotional blackmail and I resent it. And also, respect it. Oh yeah, she's playing you like a tuba. I know the saying is violin, but you're a big man. I can't keep paying her, but I can't stand her hating me. 
She'd love me forever if I let her work in a club, but I can't do that neither. And now with Cookie being all proud of her? Ah, oh, how'd I get into this mess? All I wanted to do was sell bare boobies to horny Canadians. You know what your problem is, Jimmy? You're thinking like a McDougal. Start thinking like a Falcon again. Cheech, that's brilliant. It is? But I guess you keep shooting off your mouth. Eventually, something good comes out. Baby, I've been thinking. Just giving you money for doing nothing ain't good for your character, so I'm gonna let you strip for your money. Oh, Daddy! I'm gonna make you so proud. I love you. I love you too, Princess. God bless insurance. Now this is the Falcon way. I think we are gonna make more money from this than if we had kept the joint going. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Jimmy. I got this one. Don't think I don't know what you boys are doing. You clearly bought this place only to burn it to the ground for the insurance money. Well, I will not let you get away with it. Oh, yeah? Well, the joke's on you. I forgot to buy insurance. You idiot! <laughs> and justice is served! La 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 la